here. Uh, okay, I'll sit down. Let's <laughs> focus um, over the spinous process of a C7 vertebra. C7. No eating. <laughs> no eating during that. Come on. Okay, I'm not paying attention. Okay, so we got C7 here. Mm -hmm. And what is my stationary arm? Spinous process of thoracic vertebrae. Okay, so it says midline of the trunk or perpendicular to the floor. We're going to do perpendicular to the floor. We assess a lot of patients with some abnormalities. So their uh, thoracic spinous processes may not be in line. Okay, so C7 fulcrum, perpendicular to the ground. And what's our moving arm? Dorsal midline of the head. Dorsal midline of the head, making sure that you're lining up with the occipital protuberance. Okay, now before I have my patient do this, I'm gonna look them in the eye and explain what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna have you do is tilt your head and you're gonna drop your ear towards your shoulder, but careful not to let your head rotate. So you're gonna keep your nose pointed straight ahead. Okay, so go ahead and drop towards your right ear. Good, and come on back. And towards your left. My neck is not as tight as I was hoping. And come back. I gave him a good massage. Okay, go back to the left again. Now on this one he rotated a little bit, so I'm gonna if I see that I'll just physically correct it because it's too hard to explain most of the time. And come on back. So I'm gonna guess a little more than 45 on the right and about 45 on the left. And again, if your eye goni isn't great, just set it at something and adjust it from there because at least you're closer than zero. Hopefully. Okay, so C7, vertical. <laughs> okay, and you're going to, and now we're looking down here. Okay, so tilt to the right. And come back, I was a little off. We've got 28. Okay, and tilt to the left. Keep your nose straight ahead. Good. And come back. Good. The 35. And 34. Mm -hmm. We got more to the left. We're loosening them up. Okay, so that was what we call lateral flexion or starting point, but just middle of the top of the head. And what is our stationary arm? Yeah, so imaginary line with the acromion processes. So I'm going to come back here, palpate my acromions, and imagine a line straight across here. Okay? Now it's not going to be totally in line with it, it's just going to be parallel to that line. And then where is my moving arm going to be? Perpendicular. In line with the nose. That's why I have to be up this high. Mm. So you can see. So I can see. Okay, so before we do that, I'm going to igoni it. So, Joe, can you rotate your head to the right, please? Very nice. Then come back. And to the left. Good. And come back. I'm going to guess about 70 on both sides. Okay, I'm going to line up my fulcrum, make sure my stationary arm is in place, and go ahead and rotate to your right. And come back. We've got 65, or I'm sorry, exactly 70. And then I'm gonna move my stationary arm over here to make it easier so it's less confusing of what numbers I'm looking at. And rotate left. Ooh. And relax. <laughs> and we've got 74. Black numbers? Nope, the red ones, because we started.